No, no. Scott's gonna be here any second. We need some ideas. Kevin, do you have any ideas? Here's an idea, guys. Remember that show? It was a female and a male, um, and they used to cook stuff together, and um, he was a funny looking little guy, and then he left the show, and then now he's got, like, he tried to sell pots and pans, and his, his dogs got married on TV, and he has all kinds of shit he sells. Um, I don't think he sold one pot or pan ever. Um, and we could get him on with all his pots and pans, and he could do a musical segment as part of the show. That's a great idea, fellows. Um, look, I've got a couple of pretty serious things to talk about with you guys, so if you could just have a seat. Uh, first off, I do want to congratulate you, now that I have uh, everyone here. There has been, over the past two weeks, a 37% reduction in workplace sexual harassment. I hope you guys have all noticed that if you will stop leering at each other, touching each other, it's a much more harmonious place to work, and we all get a lot more done. What we really need to talk about <clears throat> is this. <clears throat> Guys, um, now as you know, this show has always had a strong audience among the older demographic. Uh, James, you in particular, your very advanced age really helps to bring in these older viewers. But look, I think you guys also know that ever since we changed our medium from Laserdisc to Internet, that we have had a heck of a time hanging on to those same older viewers. And if we don't start bringing in a younger audience, we are going to be cancelled from the Internet. Look, to be quite honest, I'm not sure if you guys really know what it is that the youth today are interested in, you know? These kids are out there, they've got their iPogs, they've got their Pokemon Pikachu, and they've got their ham sandwiches with just a tiny bit of mustard in them. Do you guys have any idea what's going on? How much mustard are we talking about here? Well, look, when you make a ham sandwich, do you spread the mustard all over the bread? Don't insult me, of course. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, these kids today, they put a tiny bit of mustard right in the middle of the sandwich, and then they call it a day. Then they go home. Did any of you guys know anything about this? Look, these kids, they're out there on the street corner, they're, they've got their, their Backstreet Boys, and their Cindy Lauper, and all of these other new artists. And, you know, you, Dave, you're sitting around here interviewing Perry Como and Regis Philbin in there. I mean, when was the last time you even mentioned devil sticks on this show? Come on, guys. We really need to think of some ways to spice things up around here. And to be quite honest, James, I think you should be at the top of that list. We really need to spice up your image. Now, there's all kinds of ways we can do that. You know, as the kids today say, it is hip to be square. So, look, let's have some ideas from everyone about how we can jazz up James's image a little. We need to change his threads. We need to get him a great hat. And he should use more gang signs. This is what we do. We raise his voice to a higher pitch, so that only 18 to 25 year olds can even hear him. We need more MTV style camera shots during interviews. Alright, keep it up guys, I'll check with you later.